here it's windy <laughs> a little bit anyway but uh, not so bad but it's, but regardless it's 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 chilly outside we're here in the city Scarborough borough in the eastern end of Toronto Ontario and I just got off route 905 8429 a birch mount bus and uh, route 905 will be transferred to the Mulver garage very weirdly on the 26th when uh, those uh, those stupid service changes take effect. So meaning that, that uh, this route will no longer be served by these short foot Novas. Instead, be served by the uh, articulated buses and uh, the, uh, I think the Orion and Nova hybrids. But yeah, we're here at Military Trail and Morningside Avenue on a cloudy, well actually no, look, look this blue sky here, it's partly cloudy today, but it's cold. And we are also right outside the Pan Am Sports Center. This was built for the 2015 Pan American Games and a lot of its, uh, a lot of the events were held here, especially the Olympic competitions and many others. And I hope you guys will be able to hear me over this damn wind. <laughs> look, there's a, uh, Four Canada geese. I saw a shit ton of them when uh, I was on a walking video on Consumers Road uh, six days ago. I'm just glad to see the flags flying in the wind, in the wind up high. Oh my god, I don't know how I'm gonna survive this. It's literally mid March. Today's the 14th of March, and spring is on the horizon. But winter. Ain't over yet. No, 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 no. No freaking way. Because we are getting even more snow at the end of this week. Saw that we're going to be getting another 30 centimeters to uh, for Southern Ontario. Though I don't know if we're getting impacted either way. I think we will, but it might be a light dusting. I don't know. But hopefully that, that's going to be our last hurrah before spring starts next week. God, I cannot wait for this, for this warm weather to come back. In fact, we're going up to 4 Celsius tomorrow. Of course, today it's this uh, facility is used for, you know, athletes and maybe, and even uh, students of uh, University of Toronto Scarborough campus at Centennial College really to just, you know, get physically active. And yes, I, I just came from school. And as I guess you guys already know where, where I go to. That's why you saw the, the UTSC sign at the beginning of this video. Of course, stop up here is Elfier Road, but uh, uh, I thought taking a 905 bus would be much easier because I do plan to end this video somewhere north of Shepherd. I forgot to mention, we are walking north up uh, Morningside Avenue where, ironically, I have a friend that lives on the street, but probably on the other end. <laughs> and uh, she's, not in the, she's not in Canada right now, so I'm kind of happy because I don't want to run into her as I'm filming this. But uh, this, is, uh, this is a very busy street regardless, and it's uh, already rush hour, so expect to see the buses coming here, very packed full of people. Of course, the Route 116 is uh, one of many routes that have 10 minute frequency. So it's like one of the busiest routes in the city. Here's Pan Am Drive. And I think I gotta cross over here. And I did a walking video down this part of morning side, but it was in the upper direction last summer. 
401 is coming up, and guys, I hope you can uh, actually hear me over this friggin' wind. I can't believe it's so chilly today. What's the temperature right now, man? Let me just check on my phone. Minus two, feels like friggin' minus nine. Yeah, that is cold, you bet. Way, way out in suburbia. Way out. I would say we're a good 25 plus uh, away from downtown, but I'm also really far from home. Yeah, so this is where we are. Well, the map is kind of crooked, but this pretty much shows the approximate location. So we are right here. There's downtown TO, and this is where I live. Man, it's a hell of a way. But I come here very op I come here pretty often, so. But of course, the last time I filmed the walkie video down here, it was again last, as I mentioned, last year in the summer, and it was on a Saturday afternoon, surprisingly. Who the hell will go to a suburban part of town on a Saturday? I don't know. I just chose to. And again, we are coming up to Highway 401, which is, of course, the busiest highway in North America. And there's Route 116, an over-hybrid. It's, of course, served by the Malvern Division. Previously, it was served by the Eglinton Division. So they had the diesel Novas. And then, of course, when McNichol opened two years ago, the board changed. And I like it that, I like that it's being served by uh, Malvern. Because it makes a lot more sense, considering it's somewhat close proximity to the Malvern Garage. But I really don't like that the V905 is switching operations to friggin' Malvern. I, to be honest, I really prefer the 905 being served by Birchmounts or Eglinton. Either way, but uh, nope. I don't think I'm gonna ride that route again. I can always take the, uh, the the 38 to Scarborough Center, and then uh, of course down. But uh, that won't be for long because, uh, as uh, many of y'all know, the Scarborough T is closing at the end of this year, and the TTC yesterday announced some changes they were making to, I think, four routes or five that serve Scarborough Center. Luckily, luckily, none of these routes affect my way of getting to and from school but uh, they might have been roots that I wanted to film for a while actually actually I filmed the 134 last week so I think I'm good on that because that's one of the one of the few affected routes that will not be serving Scarborough Center Station for several months that's of course you know they do uh, construction to uh, um, to free up space for, or, or rather, make accommodations for the uh, for the uh, bus terminal. Basically, to serve the uh, the interim express buses that will replace line three until, as you guys all know, before line two opens, or the eastern extension, I should say. There's about two or three interchanges left if you head east on Highway 401 until it crosses the uh, city of uh, Toronto border with uh, Pickering. Also, if I had a car, it would take at least 30 minutes to get to uh, my cousin's place in Newcastle. It may seem far, but uh, it's rather it's a quick drive, but it's rush hour. People are starting to head home, so... It's not easy. Well, oh, there's the uh, the Walmart. I wasn't sure where to go today, but uh, I just had this last minute decision to come up morning. So I look, there's Route 41 heading to UTSC and then up to uh, Pickering. Good right now. I bet you buy at least uh, 
five. It's gonna be like a lot worse. That's the on ramp to the eastbound four one. I don't think you see anybody else walking here except for just locals. Also, I already commented on this the last time I did the video here. Look, this is too short. Anybody can fall over this friggin' ledge and plunge it to their injury, possibly death. Look at this. That's some poor design by the city of Tio. Because I am sure. There have been suicide attempts about the 401. Especially, especially in areas like this. So yeah, that's my uh, criticism here. And uh, yesterday, uh, <laughs> I was uh, trying to film a uh, Oh shit, it's windy. I was trying to film a bus ride on the 935 from Pioneer Village on the way down to Eglinton, which I did, but there was a little caveat. Caveat, is that how I pronounce it? Anyway, uh, you guys probably saw from the rant video I posted yesterday. This is against an ignorant TDC bus driver who thought I took his fucking picture, but. That guy's wrong because he doesn't know that you're allowed to take pictures and videos on the Toronto Transit Commission, like practically. And uh, I was a bit calm, but a bit on uh, on the uh, pissy side. Fucking driver literally asked asked me to show to 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 to, to, look, at, to look at my camera, and see if I got it. Well, most of the time I take pictures. Of the of the damn buses, the drivers are not in the shot. So it's so it's like fuck it, let me get off and wait for the next one. And then I just made a typical rant video of this, which by the way, which by the way I knew there'd be a few uh, comments that I would partially disagree with. And uh, it's a long story, but uh, I am going to uh, make a video where I go for my comments tomorrow and just address those comments. Luckily, there are no snowflakes in there. However, some people are some people are are a bit disgusted by the term snowflake, basically saying snowflake. When you refer one to it as a snowflake, it pretty much it pretty much is a person that's easily offended by by verbal actions that don't like, especially swearing or saying your opinions and stuff like that. I'm gonna call BS on uh, on uh, on saying that it's kind of rude to call people snowflakes because I don't think it is and no a lot of my viewers you guys are definitely not snowflakes it's those fucking people that are trolls and haters and don't have a fucking life or have no fucking clue that that uh, I'm allowed to uh, vent my frustrations and state my opinion however I was also on the wrong side because uh, two of my loyal viewers I'm not going to say names they posted lefty comments about uh how I was acting in that in that freaking rant, and uh, yes, I have to. I I I already made a community post about this. Uh, I went way too far on the, the swearing. I was a little bit passive aggressive, and I also said that bus driver should go to hell, which I probably should not have done. So because of that, I uh, I made the video private, actually unlisted, so I could actually show you guys the comments, but. Uh, I am partially regretful of my actions, but just because people don't like when I swear or complain doesn't mean I'm going to actually change the way I actually behave. I'm already going to address that tomorrow. But uh, I really should just take it as lightly. And again, to all my viewers, uh, especially my loyal viewers, definitely do apologize if you really feel a bit concerned or, or it's really... I don't know if I should apologize if I cause any criticism so you guys can literally just like speak out. I'm really doing my best to entertain my viewers 
But of course, also, I'm a, I'm a sensitive guy. I'm autistic. You know, be, having having freaking autism, you know how you know how challenging it is when you're going to be facing tough ass situations like this. And I did film my ride, but the window was fucking dirty. It was on an OG hybrid. Of course, almost all the buses that are on the 35 and 935 are OG hybrids. So lately, some next gens have been appearing on the route and occasionally some freaking Novas. But hey, at least nobody in that video told me not to swear or say something else. But one of my viewers did say I, I could, I really just could have acted a little more mature. I don't know if I like using that term. But uh, I had to reread the comments of that video like so many times so I could get the gist of it. So I had to like reiterate my statements. So, yep, the video is unlisted. No one else could see them. At the time, uh, at the time I, whoa, that was fast. At the time I, I uh, unlisted it, the video had like 30 likes. It literally almost has a thousand, half a thousand views and it has one dislike. And of course it's probably done by, by a snowflake who, does, who didn't like me swearing. So that's 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 the people I call snowflakes, the ones that that are watching my videos and yet they're triggered by the words and actions I am I am producing. As I said before, if you don't like my swearing, you can frig off. You can watch something else. And also, I do, I don't like I don't I haven't gotten comments like that in a while, but I still gotta say it. Like. I don't like when people tell me what to do on my own channel. Because again, I can do, oh, look at that. We have a sidewalks uh, plower here. Anyway, you get the idea. I'm not gonna say anything else. I'm already gonna talk about that tomorrow. And here is Milner Avenue. And I could have just crossed over back to the other side and filmed. But uh, whatever. Whatever. Hey, we are close to some uh, winter vehicle action, which I don't often catch. Imagine if we had snow removal here. Look at that, this guy's taking a video of it. Look at that action here. Let's get a thumbnail here. Or. Well, that's freaking cool. But I think I'm gonna work my way around. Obviously, I can't get too close. Oh shit, there's more! Holy shit, this is a snow removal operation. Yeah, this calls for a highlight. I don't know if they get these on video. Wow. Yeah, this is gonna be a highlight clip of its own. It's weird how they're doing all of this. But it literally snowed like five uh, days ago. Directed traffic. Whoa, that's a lot of trucks. Whoa. I've been to a restaurant, West Indian restaurant and buffet called Tropical Island. Hey, look, there's a DRT bus. Third region transit. That's a new flyer Excelsior diesel, XD40, I believe. Wow, so many trucks. Anyway, we're about to enter a predominantly industrial area. So, uh, here's Shepherd Avenue. So technically we're in the Mulver neighborhood and now I'm feeling I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna cross over to the other side.
So look, there's the uh, water tower. Oh man, if I if I had if I had time, or if I wasn't even filming a walking video, I would have just done a uh, done a separate video on that. But uh, I got a good highlight out of it, so it might be short and sweet. But uh, I'm on my way to somewhere, so <laughs> can't stay and watch. Sorry for those that wanted to see it, but if Elton McFall is watching this, I'm sure he'd be very proud of that. Because he does snow remo he does a lot of snow removal vids in his home city of Montreal. All right, so let's see what is north of Shepherd. Although I did check out Google Street View, on the left you got uh, you got typical uh, suburban neighborhoods, and on the right here you got. Uh, these uh, office parks. Well, I mean that's an American term, but I see some signs. They just they just use that. I've seen it before. And I want to see if I can find uh, some elevators to fill in this area. Yeah, look how busy the street is. Busy. And uh, I forgot to mention, I've never been on the uh, 116 before, and it is uh, it is uh, on my list of routes to film, but it's, it's very long. I do not, if it's a very long route, I don't typically film these, even though I already have done it on the 952-45. I'd rather just do it in like parts. So maybe like next time if I come to this part of town, the, north, the northeast side, I could probably just film from like Entirely on Morningside Avenue from uh, Finch all the way to where it ends at uh, Gilwood Parkway. So that's an idea. I'll tell you the camera's just out of focus. I don't, ever know, I don't even have my sunglasses glasses with me. I don't even know if the sun would come out. But it's setting up for tomorrow because it's going to be a damn gorgeous sunny day. Spring light temperatures. So, oh yeah, and I'm also gonna film a, a uh, Up Express train ride to the airport. And then I'll do a video where I show you guys how to get from YYZ to downtown using the TTC. And just like that, my battery is at one bar. Great. I mean, I did charge it this morning, but I forgot to charge it fully last night. But luckily, I have my battery pack. And I could just give my camera a rest and charge it because... Hey, look! Is that an Amazon distribution center? It says Amazon delivery here. I don't think I know this is... This is a... There's an Amazon building here. They don't have a distribution center in Mississauga. But that's pretty much all I can... All I can think of. Oh great, now I gotta deal with this traffic coming back down. And I'm gonna stop, uh, I'm gonna end this very soon. I've been out for, I've been while walking for like 25 minutes. And that is typically how long I film my videos. I don't see any multi-level uh, office buildings here. I thought this was one, but uh, no. Well, maybe it is coming up. I think the next major street coming up east-west is uh, McLevin. Maybe I'll uh, just end the video there. That might be in the lights too, so. Like far 
away. This is the northeast end of town. And this is a part of town I don't come to very often. But it's still rather interesting despite you got the boring parts of suburbia. But no, I don't mind going to the boring parts of the city. That's me. I go out to explore. Maybe this building has an elevator. But I think that's gonna be it for this one. So, uh, my hands are getting cold here. So, guys, uh, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, stay tuned for more videos and check out my efforts as well. Stay warm, stay safe. Well, uh, this cold weather won't last because spring is coming up. And I. I'm sure as hell not uh, looking forward to it. And uh, again, again, keep your positive comments uh, comments coming. Appreciate all of you except for I just mentioned the little, little trolls and haters. Now patiently again, thinking we'll get another fucking life on YouTube. Alright, peace out guys. Adios. Bye bye.